the pinky finger to our exercise and we're just going to concentrate on the major and the minor bar chord we'll start with the E major first so this time I want you to add your pinky into the exercise so we're going to go down with our fingers and come back up so one finger, assign one finger to one string I'll play it for you once it sounds like this one two three four one two three four did you see that so I went down all the way till the bottom where my pinky finger was and I came back up up till the A string and then you start again so I'm gonna play it slowly one two three four one two three four play with me one two three four one two three four okay let's move to the A position and we play same thing one two three four and then we gotta get this finger to come down here and play this note here can you see fifth fret B string so we go one two three four one two three four okay let me do that again one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four make sure you keep the right shape of the plucking hand as in one finger to one string okay all right so we'll play together I'll count to four and then you you start along with me one two three four 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 okay then we take the shape and we move it up two frets to the B chord and we play the same thing here we go three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four you can go back to the A and try it again one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four let's try with the minor bar chord shape now so we have A minor and we have D minor and we have E minor okay so same thing we use five fingers but we go down one string so we're starting now on the A string assign one finger to one string on the right hand I'll count to four and then we'll start together with the A minor chord here we go one two three four 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 tap your foot if it helps you to keep in time one two three four one two three four I'm gonna give a four second gap and then we switch to D minor one two three four 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 
Okay, I want you to just practice playing the plucking exercises till you're comfortable. Now, if you want, instead of taking this finger and bringing it down, you can start practicing some barring technique by taking the index finger and putting pressure down here. So, instead of going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we go one, two, three, four, one. See how I've placed this part of my index finger to put pressure on the string? So it's making a noise. Ultimately, you need to learn how to get this technique, so I recommend doing this, practicing with this. If you're not comfortable with it, start like this. But eventually, you need to be efficient with your fingers and have this part of the index playing the bottom string. Once you're comfortable playing the bar chords, try strumming them. Now, just to make another note, when I play the A and the B chord, I do need to put pressure on two strings here. I need to put pressure on the B string and the E string with my index finger. Now don't worry if you don't get it in the beginning. It took me about a month to learn bar chords when I was learning guitar. It tends to hurt your fingers, but just keep doing it. Do a little bit every day and you'll see progress happening very quickly. Similarly, we want to take the strumming exercise and bring it to the minor chords. So we have A minor. If you practice a little bit every day, you'll become very good very quickly at playing bar chords and then you can do the things much faster like this.